powder. If you're thinking about putting bigger tires on your vehicle, you'll probably Google, do bigger tires reduce torque? The majority of the answers that will come up will say yes. To put it nicely, this is an extreme oversimplification. To put it bluntly, this is completely wrong. Let's get some examples. So here we've got an ATV. Let's say we've got 1,000 newton meters of torque coming down the axle and into the wheel. So if I bring over a 25 inch wheel and bolt it up, how much torque do we have hitting the road? A thousand newton meters. Let's say I bring over a 33 inch truck wheel. If I could get this to bolt up, how much torque would we have hitting the road? A thousand newton meters again. What? Changing wheel diameter does not affect how much torque is being applied to the road? No, but changing wheel diameter does affect how much force is being applied to the road. So how do we translate torque coming into the wheel to force going out of the wheel? How do we translate rotational leverage into linear force? Let's take a look. We have 1,000 newton meters of torque at the wheel. It's a 25 inch or 0.64 meter wheel. In order to account for wheel size, we have to divide 1,000 newton meters by the radius of the wheel, or half the diameter of the wheel, 0.32 meters. The meters cancel out, and we're left with exactly what we were looking for, a measurement of force, 3,125 newtons of force. As wheel diameter increases, the force applied to the road decreases, but as the tire diameter decreases, the force applied increases. As long as traction is not an issue. A vehicle with a smaller wheel can accelerate more quickly because it can apply more pounds of force onto the road than a vehicle with a bigger wheel. This does not mean, however, that torque has been lessened or multiplied. The same amount was applied and there's the same amount of twisting force in both wheels. One can apply more pounds of force though because it has less diameter to apply it across. Even though bigger tires are more difficult for the engine to turn, they do propel the vehicle at a higher top end speed than smaller tires. This is simply because the circumference is larger, so for every RPM, more distance is covered. So today we learned how to convert rotational leverage, torque coming into the wheel, to linear force going into the road. What does this mean for our original question? Do bigger tires reduce torque? The answer is no, because it's force, not torque, that's lost as wheel diameter increases. Those who say smaller wheels would yield better performance as long as traction, clearance, or top end speed are not needed would be right. So why does it matter if someone says torque or force when referring to the amount of umph that a vehicle lays down on the road? Using the word torque would never let you quantify how much umph you're gaining or losing by altering wheel size. We can, however, calculate how much force was gained or lost by altering wheel size simply by dividing the amount of torque coming from the axle by the radius of the wheel. Please don't subscribe. You spend enough time on the web. Thanks for watching.